More than half a million people in the Texas restaurant industry alone were laid off last year. This Mother's Day is the first real chance for many businesses to start getting significant numbers of customers back through the door. Fox 4 Davis at Tendry joins us live with a look at how things went today. David. Yeah, Blake, restaurants have seen it all throughout the past months. Some were forced to close down for the ones surviving. Today might be the busiest day of the year, but now for some, the issue is possibly a lack of employees. A full plate in the kitchen. A full crowd in the dining room. It's been definitely a full restaurant. Mother's Day, one of the busiest days of the year for restaurants. An opportunity for families to relax. Forget about what's going on on the outside and just kind of get that good experience. An opportunity for Origin Kitchen and Bar in Uptown to make up for lost business, like other restaurants across the country during the pandemic. It almost, almost, almost feels 99.9 .9 back to normal. That has to be awesome. Yes, it is. Manager Rolo Solis says they just recently got back to operating with a full staff. We all kind of took it day by day as a family. Texas restaurants have seen it all throughout the past 14 months. At the height of the pandemic, we had more than 600,000 employees that were either laid off or furloughed. Texas Restaurant Association's Joe Monastero says now the supply of restaurant workers isn't meeting the demand. Certainly the demand is there. We cannot open 100% full capacity. Jeep Solo manages Asian Mint's four DFW locations. She says they can't fully operate because they still don't have enough staff. When we see anyone submit a resume online or application, we're so excited. It's like, let's call them in, let's call them in. Yes, definitely. We would love to have full capacity. Still, they're grateful for a Mother's Day crowd Sunday. So it's nonstop. We have just enough to get by. One issue she's seen, single mothers in the industry have had to leave work to stay home with kids for virtual schooling. I put my kids in school and now I have to have my kids at home. The Restaurant Association isn't sure what exactly is causing the shortage. That's because we don't know if they've gone to other industries, if they're still on unemployment, if they're still on furlough and just haven't been able to come back. But for now, everyone is excited to see business picking back up. Taking it day by day. For an industry that's been significantly impacted by the pandemic. We're all looking out for each other. The owners have been there for support. The Texas Restaurant Association says there are still roughly 166,000 restaurant employees in the state that are sidelined. That number obviously lower than the 600,000 plus that we saw at the beginning of the pandemic. Still quite a bit of work left to do.